Hi and welcome to a new video. With Personal Hotspot, it was easier than ever to tether your iPhone's internet connection to another device. But what if you can enable this configuration because it appears to be disabled or is missing in your settings? In this video, I will show you four simple ways that you can try to fix this issue easily. Let's go! As is generally known, Personal Hotspot relies on the availability of your device's cellular data. Therefore, the first step is to simply make sure that cellular data is activated on your iPhone. In case you're having trouble with your network, here's a simple troubleshooting step you can try. If you're experiencing network signal or SIM readability issues, one effective solution is to remove and reinsert the SIM card in your iPhone. To do this, you'll need a paperclip or a SIM eject tool to pop open the SIM tray. Once the tray is open, take out the SIM card and inspect it for any visible damage. If there is none, place the SIM card back on the tray and reinsert it into your device. Otherwise, contact your carrier provider to request a SIM card replacement. Once reinserted, check if the network issue has been resolved. Keep in mind that iPhone 14 models purchased in the US don't have a SIM card tray because they use an eSIM. For your additional information, your carrier service provider is authorized to restrict access to your personal hotspot. Depending on the specific plan you have subscribed to and its terms and conditions, the service provider has the right to limit or disable hotspot functionality when you reach a certain data cap they have set. To verify this, contact your carrier and report this specific issue. Usually, if you are experiencing glitches or errors with your iPhone, the common solution is to perform a force restart. Keep in mind, though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then, press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6s or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So, it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also bear in mind, some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. It can also help to reset your network to factory default to resolve any issues you might have encountered. To reset your iPhone network settings, Open Settings and navigate to General. Scroll to the bottom and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Press Reset and choose the Reset Network Settings option. Then enter your device passcode to confirm the action and start the reset process. Please note that your Wi-Fi passwords, cellular, VPN, and APN settings will be restored to factory defaults. However, you can easily reconfigure them once the reset is done. Also, don't worry, no personal data like photos, contacts, or other files will be deleted from your device. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!